A wonderful good morning to you guys. It is a lovely Thursday. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and I hope that wherever you are, you have exactly the same amazing day that I'm having. Um, I just came home from the gym, so I wanted to start an LGST and do some IRL streaming, but my phone is empty. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of battery, so I don't have a camera that I can carry around right now. Therefore, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna solve other people's problems in kind words, or at least reply to them. And um, yeah, just gonna do that for a little bit. And whenever my phone is gonna be charged, I'll be jumping straight back to that. Sounds good? I do think so. So grab yourself some water, lemon water, whatever you prefer, or some tea, or some coffee. And um, let's have a good time in kind words. Mmm. Ah, lovely Thursday. E I'm also going to have some natto. Um, it's going to be very messy to eat on stream, but you know, you know. I don't really have anything else in my fridge that was ready to eat. So I was like, it's that or nothing. That or nothing. Hey, Nito, good morning. Um, for the LGSD, I need to get done. I need to pack a bag full of secondhand clothing so I can send that off for um, another website to sell it. I wanted to take pictures and um, sell it myself, but that's effort. That's effort and I don't want to put that effort in there um, because it will be so much work, not only like photographing all of it, but also chatting with the potential buyers and they're going to be so demanding and be like, hey, can you send me another picture of that? Um, can you send me a picture of that while you are holding a pineapple with your right hand and juggling some pears with your left? And I'll be like, yeah, sure, because I have absolutely nothing better to do in my life. Look, I'm not saying that asking for pictures is wrong, but some people are just, they're like, can you measure that out? Can you, literally what I just said with a pineapple and pears, you know? 
it's just too much. So I'm chucking everything in a bag, I'm sending it to um, this website and they're gonna take care of it. Um, obviously they're gonna charge a little fee and definitely I will probably make less money. But you know, at this point I'm like, I might as well just throw them out or I send them somewhere because I'm not gonna sell them on my own. So, that's what we're gonna do. I wanna make some coffee as well. I'm really excited. The machine is currently warming up. Um, and then there was something else. Oh yeah, oh my God. I have this one task that I have not attacked in so long and it needs to be done because it's getting grittier and grittier every day. <laughs> um, I have bought chairs for my flat and they were really nice, right? And one day back in good old COVID age when some items in the supermarket were really, really popular and people would basically kill each other to get them. One of these items used to be olive oil. And because I really needed olive oil, I went to the supermarket and I looked for it and there was literally the whole shelf was empty and there was only one bottle in it. And I was like, oh, nice, one last bottle. Na naive me thought. But obviously there was a reason why this specific one was still in the shelf. And the reason was that somebody dropped it and it shattered and it was uh, holding together but leaking out oil. Steadily, but slowly. And I didn't realize that because I was in a hurry and I just grabbed it and I was like, ah, yay me, last oil. And I put it in the bag and then I went home and I just placed it, like I placed the bag on my chair and um, I don't know why, I think I had to go to work or whatever. So I just left it there for a few hours. And then I came home and I see like oil dripping down from the chair. So the, for hours, the olive oil soaked inside of the, I don't know what it is, like the, the part where you sit on and it's uh, upholstered, so it's fake leather, I think, but it's like suede, so definitely it can really soak up in there and inside there is foam material. So um, the whole foam is full of oil, uh, which sucks because even if I wipe it off it will be still saturated with oil and no matter who's gonna sit on it you're gonna have an oily butt and your trousers are gonna be ruined therefore I cannot possibly use this anymore so I chucked the part that is soaked with oil on the balcony because where else would I put like an oil filthy thing um, in the intention to take care of it one day <laughs> Apparently that day is today. This whole thing happened a long time ago. Too long ago as I would be proud to admit. Um, yeah. And now it's a bit moldy as well because it has sitting in the rain. Not proud. Anyways, we're gonna attack that as well. I won't be able to completely redo it, but at least I can strip off all the things and whatever mm, and clean it. Cool. Mm. Is it even fixable at this point? Of course it's fixable. Everything is fixable. What do you mean? I just need to rip off the poster and the, the fake leather and we're good. There is gonna be wood underneath and the wood is not gonna be moldy. Just like the outer part is a bit weird. Of course it's fixable. Sid, good morning. How are you doing? Or shall I say... Good afternoon? Good evening? Time zones confuse me. <laughs> Mm. 
oil is a pain in the ass to deal with. Cheers to you. I absolutely agree. It's just completely ruined, right? It's like... If it's a soaky kind of material, you're fucked. You can throw it away. Like, if you get an oil stain on your clothing, then yeah, that is already shit. But you can at least kind of put the effort in to get it out. But if you get it on like a poster furniture thingy, end game. Nothing's gonna fix that. So, let's reply to my dear friend F here that is asking what should I do about my education? Should I do a master degree? Oof, I'm very opinionated about this. Ah! Right. So, um, I never went to uni. I never did a bachelor's and I never did a master's degree. That doesn't mean that I didn't study anything, but the way that education for nurses is built up in Germany means that I don't have an official bachelor's or master's degree. I do have degrees that are quite high in medicine, but they're not classified as bachelor's or master's in Germany, which sucks. Don't get me wrong, sucks. But I was having a big problem with it for a long time because I was like, well, this sucks. I put in the years and I put in the effort and work to achieve this and is, um, I don't know, I've never went to uni, so I wouldn't know, but I would say that I would deserve a degree as well because it kind of could be seen in an equal level as some other bachelors. And uh, I was struggling with that for a long time because I was like, wait, but if I want to do a job that would require a bachelor's or a master's or if I would want to do a master's, I couldn't because I'm lacking a bachelor's. And um, I was getting pissed off about this, but, 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 first of all, I never even struggled with finding a job. Um, not at all. Just because of my former experience and everything else, I would never struggle to find a job, even if I'm lacking a degree. And then, in these times, nowadays, when I was looking into like programming a bit or whatever, you don't necessarily need degrees anymore, which is very interesting, you know? Back when I was in school, they told us, oh, go to uni, you will need this. Mm. And I was like, okay, this is the way to go, I need to achieve that. But you don't really need it anymore. If you can build up a portfolio and show off your skills, but that depends on your career path, then it doesn't necessarily need to be a degree on paper if you can show them what you can do. But you need to be good for that. You can't just bullshit your way in. Mm. Question completely depends on what career they want to do. Being happy in what you do is most important to me for long term. My sister got a master's in English history and now she's a producer for a small media company. That's the thing, life comes and goes, right? Like, um, you never know where you're gonna end up. So yeah, it really depends on the, on the, on the career path and also kind of on personal circumstances. Um, depends on where you're from whether or not you need to pay for your masters, if you can even afford that. Mm. If you feel like working or if you feel like you want to study more. Right. Mm, my dear F. Oh, this is going to be fun again because my keyboard sucks. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. Ping, 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 ping. 
Ladies and gentlemen, there is no longer gonna be any struggle with typing because I ordered a new keyboard yesterday. So it will arrive at least by the middle of next week and therefore we will no longer have to deal with any typos because all the buttons on my keyboard will be working. Yay! So that's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Mm. Cool. Until then, we still have to struggle. We'll see. <sighs> oh my god, you know what we could do? We could ask ChatGPT what they think about it and then build up an answer depending on what they say. <laughs> Let me do that. I love ChatGPT, it's so funny. Ah, I demand, for fuck's sake. As always. What is another word for career path? <sighs> but what? I forgot to say I got a job as design engineer in one day. <gasps> Congratulations. Is that, is that a new thing? Ah. <sighs> It is a fellow designer. Cute. Are you doing exterior or interior? Or are you doing like completely different stuff? You're not um, designing the cars itself. Why is it so messy to eat? What the fuck?
All right. Uh, ooh, car exterior design. Nice. Next time I see a new one day, I wonder if you designed it. Cute! The um, Ubers in Germany are usually um, one day. It's, it's cute. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Right. Done. All right. <clears throat> My dear F, whether or not you should do a master's degree depends on your career path, personal circumstances, and motivation. And these days, a master's isn't as necessary as it used to be. B, but can be extremely helpful to get a job in some professions. Maybe try listening to why you feel the urge to do it. If it is mainly because of extrinsic factors and no self-motivation, maybe it is good to have a look at your alternatives. Good luck. Freckle on the curious case of the disappearing earrings. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're here. They're gone. <laughs> I think smaller things um, blend into the green screen too much. It remains a mystery. What sticker shall we put? Oh, this one is cute. Ah. Nice. Okay. Next one. The deer is telling me about some lo-fi hits. All right. M is writing. I didn't think about the friends I left that were introduced to me by my old ex-bestie. I started a new account and everything. I thought no one would care to be honest. I told everyone I was making a new one, but I got a message and it freaked me out. Do I feel, feel guilt or regret? I don't understand the question. I feel like this is a follow-up thing. Thank you, Nido. No, I'm not on my own. I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> Bad. Sorry. Okay. I is writing. It's being a hard day. Feeling I am nothing. Feeling anxious all the time. Being afraid of everything. Any tips or kind words? I'm exhausted. Mwah. Let's do this. God, I can't wait for the new keyboard. I can't wait. You can relate to this, Nito. Feel free to share any words because it's nicer if you can relate to this. Maybe you know exactly what you needed to hear if you feel like that.
We're gonna add this. Ha. All right. And I really like your answer, Nito. Perfect symbiosis. All right. My lovely eye. Things are tough and sometimes hard to process. Don't be harsh with yourself when you feel like you are not good enough. You are enough, you deserve happiness, and you deserve feeling loved and safe. Take your time and do what makes you feel secure. I love going for walks when things get overwhelming. Just never give up, you are not alone. <sighs> I feel like we need to hear this a lot more often from people in our lives because sometimes you just feel this way and you know nobody should and sometimes you just need someone to tell you exactly that and you're gonna be fine you are gonna be fine wait there we go i like this more Too much hate in the world these days. <sighs> I agree. I think there is a lot more unfiltered opinions in this world. And we don't pay too much attention to what could be hurtful anymore. things went bad I just shut my phone eat my favorite food and take a good nap always works always work who can treat me better than myself I like this I like that treating yourself well just requires so much self-love or kind of like some people need the allowance to treat themselves nicely people that are in the mindset as I here tend to punish themselves not feel enough feel like they're nothing and therefore they're not able to give themselves love whether if they would have an animal and the animal would feel down and would feel not well they would absolutely shower them in love and feel good things even if they're in this position it's just so much easier for people who feel like they're not enough to give because they empathize with feeling bad but they're not able to do it for themselves so you need to remind them that they deserve that just as much as everybody else if not even more you should in these cases put yourself first definitely and if you put yourself first for a while you will be able to then prioritize others while still feeling good so uh think of you people <laughs> I'm so happy that your daughter is this cute, you know. So sweet. <sighs> I don't have a lot to say to this, so I can make a nice layout.
All right, my dear R, you go and get it. Small steps will bring you to the finish line while having enough time to appreciate the beauty of your journey. Gratitude, people. R has already made one of the most important lessons. Exactly. He f they figured it out. They fucking figured it out. Ooh, the boat for the journey. Love that. Cool, let's do one more and then I'm gonna jump and make coffee. I feel like the phone should be charged by now. Ah, oh, shit, I feel that one. Okay, S is writing. I don't like competition, but I'm in a highly competitive educational environment. And I find myself getting jealous at others' performances. I guess it's because this environment makes me feel as if I'm not allowed to perform badly ever. I don't like this side of me. Ah oh, man, this is a tough one because I struggle with jealousy so much. Like I f always feel whenever I'm, I'm looking at friends or people I love, I look at them and I'm like, fuck, they're doing so well. And I would love to be happy, happy for them, which I am. But then some little voice in my head is saying like, oh, you should do this as well. You know, it's like, they're succeeding. Why aren't you doing this? So it's always like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And so far I have not really found a way to turn it off. It's become a lot less since I'm just more um, structured and in the right mindset. But when I'm feeling down, these thoughts come up so much so I don't know how to I don't know how to answer that well <laughs> I'm just gonna say I, I feel you dude <laughs> oh. Every academy is the same, but everyone got a unique talent. You doesn't have to be a class topper mastering every small skill helps a lot. That is a nice input. Let's include that.
don't think that's alright. Try and be as happy for others' achievements as we can be by still appreciating our own things. <sighs> appreciating? Ah, there we go. Thank you, Nito! Fuck's sake, okay. <laughs> Alright, my dear S, I can sadly relate a lot to this because I experienced it. Because I experience it a lot myself when I'm feeling not as good. This is such a weird sentence, what the hell? Wait, let's. Let's go. Everybody got unique talents. You don't need to be a class top of mastering. Even. Let's make this easier to read. Mastering even a small skill helps a lot. Let's try and be as happy for others' achievements as we can be by still appreciating our own. Take inspiration and share your unique skill sets rather than trying to top each other. Nobody should ever be underestimated. So don't underestimate yourself. Cool! Gotcha! Uh, sometimes I will get paid or get acknowledgement in publication for designing your project. Oh, wait, what? You're designing stuff for your former classmates? That's pretty dope. Am I getting that right? Hmm. <laughs> Done and dusty. Um, I think we're 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 done. Um, I'm gonna get my phone and I'm gonna check if it has enough. and I don't even have three hours to stream so what the hell half will be fine oh god Ugh. good deed done for the day hell yeah I love this game this game is really amazing just the whole idea of it is so great and um, it's their three year anniversary. So uh, yay to kind words for making the world a better loving place for people. So, right. forgot that usually I have my other phone in here so I don't know if this will work but I guess I guess it just needed to be straight god righty so that one and then ugh let me quickly unbutton my shirt. 
Okay, and now I need to set up the IRL streams. Oh god. Mm. Let's see. Enable audio. Boop. Chat, I want to show. Oh no, wait. Let's see. Oh my god, it's working. Cool. Very cool, very cool. I think we can switch. Boom. There we go. All right. And, uh, be sorry, because we don't need two of these microphones, we're gonna be a okay. Um, let me quickly place this one here. Uh, oh my god. Terrible! There's too little space for everything. Sorry. <laughs> um, music. Music. Again, I'm using my friend's music and I will put it in the chat again to at least pay some attention to it. But I do need to work on like an animation and um, make it show. We're awfully close. Are we getting all personal right now? Oh my God. I can see texture on my face. Vlogging vibes, very vloggy. I'm getting stressed. Look at this. Now I've just scratched myself and I'm very sensitive. Um, yeah, let's, let's close all of the games and let's just put on some music and we'll be a-okay. I just need like... Oh, do I still have? <gasps> I do. Oh, perfect. <sighs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Now you let me know if the music is too loud or not, and we'll be a-okay. Okay, time to get some coffee, shall we? <laughs> Vlogging vibes. Oh my god, this is fun. This is fun, but weird. Guys, look at the sun. Look at the sun in the kitchen. It is beautiful. The rays are just breaking my light. Ugh. It's beautiful. Okay, let's look at this beauty, which is my one and only love in life, the coffee machine. <gasps> beautiful. I need to grab my other phone so I can at least see chat because I'm completely blind to chat right now. Dark and grey in the UK. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it was very, very, very dark over the, the last weekend. So I get to, um, I get to have this joy, all right? For once. Right, place it here. Oh yes, the baby heated up. Right. Shall we make some coffee? 
Cool, step number one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you here because um, my stuff is over here. First, we're gonna weigh out some beans. I got some roast from um, a, uh, oh God, <sighs> not rotisserie. Everything in my head is screaming rotisserie right, right now, but it's called a roast, roastery? Comp you go, oh, you go, you go. Um, anyways, I bought this one from a very nice guy and he uh, recommended a lot of good coffee to me. So I'm super happy. I like drinking espresso. So getting um, a coffee with a high robusta content is important. And this one, I tried it at first. It's a 60 Arabica, 40% Robusta bean. And this one, oof, it makes such good coffee. This one had the best crema I've ever had from my machine. This one is an 80-20 blend, but still makes good crema. And I'm going for a good old 15 grams. And we're, we're, we're gonna see how that turns out. Okay. It's a bit hard for me to get nice angles in just because my camera is already shutting up because it's... Excuse me, sir, can I enter please? I need to set it to not dim. Oh well, well, well. By the way, Nido, you were here when we talked about getting the grinder, right? This one is the grinder from my colleague. <laughs> it's so funny. I still can't believe this actually happened. Sorry, it's gonna be loud. Never mind. Sorry, it's gonna be loud. Done and dusty. Let's get some more shot in here, just so you see how I prep the thing. So I did buy a bottomless portafilter fil fil filter um, because I wanted to actually see how it is going out of here because it tells you a lot about the quality of your grind and how well you distributed it in here, if it's gonna be over or under extracted and shit like this. And therefore I bought this one and it's the prettiest thing ever because you actually see it coming out and it's so beautiful, I love it. And um, I don't have any other fancy equipment yet. I don't have a wise tool, I don't have a distributor, I don't have a funnel to make it like go right in here, so I'm doing it in the thing, but you know, small steps, okay? Uh, I first got the most important things as the machine and grinder and uh, everything else is just bougie equipment I can get in the future. And then the coffee is just gonna get better and better. Now, uh, how about this? Ain't that great. And until then, my finger is gonna be my distributor and all the actual barista people are like, that's okay. That is really okay. I do really like this tamper though. This one is a beautiful tamper from Normcore. Um, not only is it completely normed in the amount of pressure you put in because it is with a spring so you cannot apply too much or too little pressure because it's always the same pressure and it also has like a level device so it's also auto leveled so you could never really tamp it in a sloppy way 
and I am use like I'm misusing this one as a distributor as well. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, all right. You shouldn't clack it like this, but I feel like I should have chosen the 51.5 millimeter, but I chose the 51. So now I sometimes have a rim of coffee in here, but you know, it kind of looks very nice. It's, it's very, um, I need to enable the auto focus. Uh, continuous, normal, manual, oh god, I think, is that auto? Oh, it is, oh my god, this camera is amazing, what? <laughs> All right, putting that in. Now the question is, ow, hot, do I get to show you the underside? That's gonna be a bit tricky, but I would... I would love to actually get that done. Um, let's see. The good thing is that I have a microphone attached, which functions basically as a little lever. Uh, out of focus with Come on, focus on the thing, please. There we go. That's good. No, that's not good. This is good. All right, I'm gonna keep it like this. And now I need to first get this out again because I forgot to flush. Guys, I'm a bit excited, okay? This is my baby. All right, first I'm gonna flush the brewing group. So we get any old coffee bits and dirt out of there. And also we're preheating the cup that's gonna contain my little espresso. This is a bit messy because it's not really meant to be that way. And now the glass is nice and hot. We're gonna do actual espresso. And I want you to pay attention to the lovely portafilter. And look at the, this part. I hope that it's coming out the right way. If it's not coming out the right way, I'm gonna be very sad that I pooped in. All right, slowly pulling up. Take your time with that. And we're gonna get to a specific point where the water is gonna come out, which is now. And then we're gonna wait 10 seconds, which is um, always a bit different for me because, you know, counting ain't my strongest bit. And you can already see at the sides, there is some droplets coming out and that's when we're pushing down. And we have three streams. Oh, beautiful. It's going into one. Ah! Look at that. Isn't that beauty? It's so beautiful. Ah, okay. <laughs> People. Now. Now look at that. Wait. I can't see because it's already dimmed again. That. This is crema. Peepal. Oof. Love. Boop. Okay. And just like that, we are walking back with a phone for a chat and a beautiful cup of coffee. Ooh, I love that. Um, I want to sit in the sun, actually. Not against it. Let's do 
do this. Not the prettiest background, but I guess you will have to live with that. Um, boop, boop. Pretty modular though. There we go. Uh, I picked my uh, pants from the dry cleaners today, which is, in my opinion, a very adult thing to do. I have not felt as adult in my life. As to that very specific point. Ah. And now we get to enjoy some coffee while fixing that a bit. Ah. Beautiful. Hmm. Wait, first of all, and correct me if I say this wrong, what is civet coffee? And chai tea, oh, chai tea is so good. I haven't, I, you can't really, um, I'm pretty sure you can buy it here and you can find like an Indian store where you can buy really good chai tea. But do you know this like chai tea powder they sell in Starbucks and like some other coffee shops? It's too damn sweet. It's too damn sweet and I don't like it. It's terrible. Mm. Oh, it's so good, <laughs> people. <laughs> this and that is making me so happy that I could live off of this serotonin for the next five years. It's a small thing. And I think the happiest, like the, the part about the coffee that is making me this happy is because I did it myself. You know, like getting the machine, getting the grinder and then fixing the machine before even being able to use it gives you so much pleasure, at least for me. That it just makes things a lot better. The small things in life, even though the sun is like such a big thing, I underestimate it a lot. Mm. Thank you, Nido. I love my apartment as well. It's so cute. It's so sweet. I don't ever want to move out of here. I hope my landlord never needs anyone else to move in here because if he escorts me out of my apartment, I might as well just move to, I don't know, move to the end of the world. Ah, Cool. So, on the agenda today, packing the shit into the bag, and fixing the poster. What do I start with? I probably should start with the clothing because that is the less gritty thing and then I have clean hands when touching them. It's just gonna be a lot of cloth folding. That's all right. The only thing is that I'm not very good at tasting coffee. Like I haven't, I didn't drink coffee for the last 25 years. So I never really got into it because I didn't like the taste. Um, and now that I like making my own coffee, obviously I love the taste, but when it comes to like this whole barista culture, right? There is nutty flavors, there is chocolatey flavors, there is a bit of fruity flavors when you go into the Arabica beans. And for me, it's super hard to tell, like, is it bitter or is it sour? I can tell that. But obviously, because I'm not a master barista, some of my coffee will still taste like bitter or a bit over extracted or under extracted, blah. I can't tell the difference. So I keep inviting people to my home to make them coffee so they can tell me whether or not it's good. <laughs> but then you need people who are honest about it. 
And not just polite. <sighs> chai should be a bit spicy. Okay, apparently I never had proper chai tea then. I never had proper chai tea, I just realized. <gasps> Shit. Wait, do you drink your chai with milk? Because I do. Okay, the taste comes from years of experience unless you have incredible taste perceptors. Yeah, I don't. So, um, okay, in a few years. Until then, I'm gonna live in um, the bliss of not knowing. Okay. Where am I gonna fold the clothing? Probably on my table. I want to keep sitting here for a bit and just enjoy the sun. Mm. Yesterday I was typing on my typewriter and the ink band ran out. And um, <laughs> after fixing it for the first time, I was maybe feeling a bit overly confident because I thought I could just whip out the band, replace it and just get it do keep on writing. Um, turned out to be a lot more complicated than I thought. But after frustratingly giving up for uh, after a while, I went to work. And after I came home, while I was at work, I thought of a solution. <laughs> or at least I thought of like what I could do differently. And then I came home and I did it that way and it instantly worked. So that was a nice, um, nice experience. And um, yeah, that's it. Now it's working again. Makes me happy. Nice achievement for the day. Oh, let me turn off the machine. Did I already turn it off? No. Cool. But yeah, it's so nicely there. It's it's like, it's, it's decor. It's looking so nice that I can literally just use it as decoration for my flat. And I want a slice of cake because it needs to be gone. I baked a cake because I had a friend over for the weekend. So I gave him a slice, I gave myself a slice, and then that's it. And now I still have a lot of cake left over uh, and I struggle a bit to finish it. <laughs> Why is it not socially acceptable to bring already cut cake to work or something? You always have to bring like a freshly baked cake without one piece missing. someone here Kivuka wait were you here before because I don't get the I don't get the new viewer or first time chatter thing no you kick ass we love kind words wait the struggle was real last time Oh, the last time we fixed the typewriter, yeah. I mean, I mean, regarding the fact that I had no idea what I did and it only taking three hours, I 
not too bad. Mm. You have a cleaner of clothes in the kitchen. Oh my God, you're calling a washing machine cleaner of clothes. I love you so much. This used to be me when I was bad at English. Oh my God, it's so adorable. <laughs> it's so adorable. Yes, I have a cleaner of clothes in my kitchen. Um, this is a Northern Germany thing. When I used to live in the South of Germany, nobody would ever have a washing machine in the kitchen. I used to consider it as such a weird thing. And I still think it's kind of a weird thing. I would love to have the washing machine in my bathroom, but I don't have the connectors, like the water connector and everything for it um, outside. So I cannot connect it. And uh, yeah, that's why it's in the kitchen. And it's completely normal for people in Berlin for some reason, I don't know why. They're weird like that. All you need is a grandfather clock. Or oh, like one with a cuckoo coming out. One day, Nido. You need those cake. That is a healthy cake though. I don't know how, how, how much you're into a healthy cake. The only sweetener that's in here is dates. And um, the other ingredients is apple and pumpkin. And obviously flour and shit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Kiwi, where in Europe are you? Wait, you know. The washing machine is in the kitchen as well in the UK. Oh, you're from Finland. We have another Finn, cute. Making sushi at home. I'm pain in the ass, isn't it? I love making sushi, but it just doesn't turn out as great as if I would buy it somewhere. <laughs> so I end up buying it. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember the words of Kiwi, good meals make the mind happy because that is very much true. And good food keeps the mind healthy as well. So you should really take care of what you put into your bodies. I know it's convenient just shoving whatever comes in front of you into you. But when you have the time or at least some motivation, go and cook yourself some nice food. <laughs> Cute. <gasps> Can you hear the birds chirping? Let me take you. I'm not going to take the camera. I'm just going to take this. I think they're upstairs. shit oh no they're here hi buddies oh my god cute okay i shushed them away because they were literally sitting on my window <laughs> and when i opened it they flew away but they they sat down at the other rim of the roof which was cute hmm <laughs> oh 
otters and guinea pigs are very cute. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. We live next to a woodland area. That is so cute. That must be so healing as well. Woods are just something incredible. Nero, what kind of pets did you have? Did you have two guinea pigs? Sid, my man. Capybaras are so great. They're so great. I love them. Did you see? Oh my god. <laughs> did you see those pictures of capybaras just chilling with literally every other animal? They're chilling with like ducks birds, even geese, and geese are dicks, <laughs> but we love geese, definitely a top tier animal for myself. Um, they're chilling with guinea pigs and rabbits and otters and beavers and whatever, and like they all cuddled up, and the cap bar is like in the middle, and they're like, yeah, I'm chill like that. <laughs> Nido is seeing foxes, deer, squirrels. Wait, where is the chat? It's not turned on. I want the chat to show. Oh, I see. There we go. Wait, no, there we don't go. Hmm. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> Capybara is not only cute, but they got drip. <laughs> you guys. Cappies are five out of five, absolutely. <gasps> a beagle, beagles are cute. I had a beagle in Nintendogs. <laughs> I never had an actual beagle, but I had one in Nintendogs. That counts, right? Mm. What isn't? What is an oik sign? I never, never heard this expression before. Wait, what? Man. Sometimes I wish I would have a pet, but I love my spontaneous lifestyle too much to give that up for a pet. Because sometimes I'm like, let's go to Thailand and stay two months. Let's do it. And I wouldn't be able to do that with a pet. I am already not even able to commit to house plants. So I don't think I should get a pet. But let me set up the camera. We're gonna do some clothes folding and shit. The oh no, no, this song is popular, it will be copyrighted. No, <laughs> no, okay, nothing ever happened. We did not just play territory, 
We did not know. Never happened. Oof. Can you stop? Oh, man. All right. Uh, what is that? Oh, this is like a... Uh, can I just... Oh, there we go. Oh. Love that, let's go. We got a new playlist. <sighs> nice. I definitely still need to get rid of all the phone parts that are still laying around from last LGSD. But this is a future, future freckle problem. This ain't a present me problem. Oh my God, the chat is very chatty today. I love that. Hmm. Where did my glass go? Not all things in life go as planned. So sometimes when life gives you lemons, just gotta roll with it, I guess. What that? Something is wrong with that. Why are you like that? Ooh, I think I know. I think I put it in the dishwasher and now it's deformed. Fuck. Not cool, my dude, not cool. Remember this scene because this is gonna happen in the next future streams because I will forget about this. I will forget that this is not working and I will repeat this action a lot of times. It's gonna be the new star of the show. Hey. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I wanted to clean my table anyways. <laughs> uh. Right. Smooth. Very smooth. Let me dim the phone because it will run out of battery soon. Okay. 
one more hour and I have to go to work, so let's make the most of it. And at this point, I'm actually questioning whether or not I should maybe start with the polster. Ugh, fuck it. Let's start with that. Ugh. Oh my god. So much clothes. Okay, this is the thing that it's gonna go into. And... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Now we start. Uh. <sighs> cool. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay. I was questioning whether or not everything is gonna fit into the bag, but you know what? I think we're good. I think we're actually okay. Now the question is more like how to do this with a system. I feel like building a wall is probably smart. What is that? A freaking carrier bag. Yeah, it is. They send you that. They, they send you this with like a retour label and everything. It's pretty nifty if you ask me. Um, let's place it on the ground. <laughs> and let's start folding and cry about all the purchases that I made that I no longer wear and now sell on the internet. Very, very sad. But you know, style changes. <clears throat> and so does taste. Mm. Wait, who's complaining to Twitch? <laughs> I will complain to Twitch how they don't let a thumbs up emote. Prep, press, pause, press. <laughs> I still wear most of my old clothes since I have no style. <laughs> and you know what? You can be happy about it because you don't need to buy new clothes ever. Ha! Fucking life hack. No, I mean, I was always unhappy with my clothing style and I was always trying to be more fashionable and always look better kind of because whenever I bought something that would look great on other people I put it on and I was instantly unhappy with how it looked and I was getting so fucked about it because I was like why why doesn't it look good but the thing is just because it looks good on others doesn't mean that it's gonna look good on you and uh, that one definitely fucked me over. <sighs> as long as they're not ripped and stained, I'm grand. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Nido. I love my style as well, but that only developed lately. Very, very recently it developed. So um, I'm very grateful that I've hopefully, finally have found my style that I'm gonna keep for the next few years. Uh, can't be bothered to change it any time. Right. The sweaters that I'm packing up right now are actually so good. They're so cute. It's like cashmere blends, but for some reason I just don't look good in them anymore. They're not my kind of cut and they're kind of too small as well. I love wearing oversized stuff nowadays, so that ain't gonna work. People, I don't think that I'm gonna be able to get the poster done today. There's a lot of clothing. 
<laughs> have to get new clothes often because I'm outgrowing them. <gasps> Sid, what's happening? Are you still in your teenage years? That dude. I don't get that quote. Explain. I'm really curious whether or not a lot of stuff will sell and then for how much. I literally cannot tell at all how much this would be or how much this could be turning out to be. No idea. <clears throat> Uh huh. Huh. That's why this looks not good on me. Because it's. Oh, for fuck's sake. Because that one was altered. You can tell in the back there are two like sewing lines and they're not the same thread as the manufacturer's thread. So it was altered to be slimmer and that's why I hate it because it's not oversized. Clothing folding reminds me of WC3. What's WC3? We'll join as soon as I reached home. Okay, safe travels wherever you traveling from be safe buckle up when you get in a vehicle <laughs> my god it's getting warm in here because i have the sun shining on my back Feels like it's summer again. WC3 turned into Dota Defend of the Ancients. That was ages ago. I was like 16 years old then. But why, what does cl folding clothing has to do with WC3? I don't understand. Last time I heard anything about Dota, it wasn't a folding clothes simulator. Why don't do that to me? Ugh. Oh, the hanger, the coat hanger broke. Well, well. Do you wash your clothes in 60 or 40? Um, depends on what. I wash my clothes mostly at 40. Some stuff I wash at 30 because it takes up less electricity if it's just like a not as dirty clothing. And um, 
a lot of the stuff actually is hand wash. Like wool, wool shit and stuff like that. And it's very annoying. It is, it is, yep, yeah. yep, yeah. hate it. <sighs> 40 unless it's actually filthy. There we go. Nito gets it. <laughs> If it's filthy, that is 60 plus. Mm. All right, how to fold this so it doesn't like get gritty. Not so easy. I like that the stream when I sorted out my clothing was literally months ago and I'm only now packing it up. Productivity, is that you? You have the greatest, you know. Thank you, I love my apartment. I do have one tree though, it's right outside that window because it's huge. It's actually, I think it's as high as the roof and I have another floor on top of here. So it's a huge tree actually. Ooch. Okay, let's get some of it in the bag. <sighs> I think I can fit three rows of clothing in here. One, two, three. Yeah, pretty good. Man, that's a huge fucking carrier bag. <laughs> Now, if I won't fit everything in there, I don't know. There we go. Nice. Oh, I love this dress. Oh. But I look like a five-year-old child in it. Now this looks kind of like a curtain. Speaking of curtains, that's gonna be another project for the future. I need to install some like curtains or blinds on this window side where my balcony is. But because of the way it's shaped, it's super hard to install curtains. Mm, I remember this. Uh, either I repair it and sew on the straps or I just cut off the straps and pretend like it's not broken, but it's a feature. I think I'm going for number two here. It's definitely the, the easier part. <laughs> I already fixed this in the past. I can tell these are my stitches. They look shite. You, sir. I try my best with folding. I do think that if you fold your stuff nicely when you send it to a company that sells it, 
it really depends on like first impression as well. Because if you open up a bag that's just like a bit smelly and unfolded stuff and shit, they're gonna instantly not assume it being of good worth. So they're, they're gonna rank it lower quality. So I think it's really important that you fold it in a nice way. They tell like, oh, everything should be obviously should be washed and ironed. And I was like, uh, <laughs> ironing, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> a lot of the stuff I'm selling because I don't want to iron it. <laughs> I'll just pat it down. So it looks folded. Deal? Deal. God, I'm sweating. Let me actually change into a tank top. I don't, it's, it's too hot. <laughs> With the sun in the back, it's great and all. But man, shit is steamy. nice is it just me or do you get aggressive as well when stuff is too hot like when you're feeling too hot i remember a very specific moment in my life <laughs> and i was getting ready because we needed to be somewhere and uh i think my then friend was waiting in the car downstairs and i had to blow dry my hair and uh, it was summer and I was blow drying my hair obviously with high heat because I needed to be dry quickly and then it was like <laughs> I was I had like wet hair from the shower but when I blow dried it I started sweating because it was so hot from the blow dryer and the summer heat that it was the nastiest feeling I've ever felt getting dry while sweating again and it made me so angry like <laughs> I got like proper inner aggression and uh, yeah that is the story how I am very sensible to heat and whenever I feel nowadays that I get stressed out I'm like am I too hot let's take off a layer and then everything is good again <laughs> getting the guns out I look so slim in the camera, what the hell? No, what is happening? I swear I have muscles. <sighs> Today at the gym, I, we had endurance day, so we get to do a lot of calories and you can choose what machine you're, um, you're gonna pick. So either you're rowing or C2 biking or echo bike, which suck so I never do echo bike or the ski machine and I used to hate the ski machine but I got to love it because now I only do ski machine because it's giving me arm muscles <laughs> and I'm like yes <laughs> oh I love this ski Used to dip my face in cold water. <gasps> That's also a really nice tip. I'm gonna do this the next time I feel overwhelmed. I'm gonna be like, ice water. This is hard to fold. Satin material is just too slippery. All right.
Nah, this is slow. Mm. You know, I heard that in Germany the weather is gonna be shit soon again, and I feel like whenever the weather is shit here, it's really nice in the UK. So, uh,. I feel this is going to be yours in just a few days. <laughs> so if I'm overly depressed, you're going to be very happy at least. <laughs> Not because I'm depressed, I hope, but because you have good weather. We're going to exchange the sun. You can have it for like four days and then I'm having it for four days and then we're switching again. I can share. Hopefully, yeah man. You're gonna have those nice little walks through the forest. <sighs> Wait, I don't know how to fold this. Ooh, the fancy dress. Hell, what a shiny something. I'm like a disco ball. Boop, 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 boop. Hmm. Oh God, boop. I apologize in advance for what I'm about to post in Discord. Did you take a very, very embarrassing screenshot of me? You, Nido. Nido. <laughs> No, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew that you were gonna do this. You're such an ass. Why is random now full of really embarrassing screenshots of myself? I do like the definition though. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Love you, Nido. Uh, Nido is doing mod work here. You're the unofficial mod of the stream. One day when I'm actually gonna need a mod, I will ask you to be a mod, Nido. Uh. <sighs> Teddy, what's up? I thought I was the unofficial mod, damn. <laughs> the betrayal. <laughs> Who said I can't have multiple unofficial mods, huh? Huh? Greetings and salutations. You've been here from the start, so you've seen You've seen the coffee creation process. <laughs> He's sly like that. He is just there to scout out whatever is going to happen. And then when you, when you think you're, you're not being watched, then he's going to attack and is like, what did you just say? I thought I was the mod. Ah, oh, Teddy. 
He's been here for it all. He's here to watch every single step you take, every breath you take, every move you make. And I don't know if the lyrics of the song actually go like that, but I'm out of words anyways. Hello. Oh my God, that's not even Teddy. That's Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I literally always get so confused when two people have the same color because now I identify people by color. Like Teddy is pink for me. I'm like, yo. So whenever somebody, and I mean, Olivia's name is kind of the same length. So I need to pay attention to who's actually typing. <gasps> What kind of emote is that? It's so cute. Oh my God, it's a little owl from Ravenclaw. That's so cute. I'm also happy to see you in chat. I'm doing great. The sun is out, so I cannot be not happy. There we go, Olivia's blue, wow. Okay, look at you. <laughs> Thank you. Nido, you change yours. Nido is always red for me. I mean, right now you're gray, but that's besides the point. You joined the pink crew. Nido, no! Don't do this to me. Don't do that. You can't just change your color like this. I'm gonna get an aneurysm. I'm gonna be delivered into the ER and they're gonna be like, what happened to this poor woman? And they're like, her view has changed the colors of their chat names. And they're like, oh! <gasps> They did not. Quick CT scan. <laughs> my color center of my brain was damaged. I'm just a bit confused. And to be honest, my language is not English because I'm from Norway. Ah, <gasps> uh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my Norwegian. Uh, I forgot hello, but I can say, let's just say hi. Jeg heter Freko. Hva heter du? I try, I try. And I wish I could say more, wait. Um, what was, how are you? Hva, hva gjør det? Oh, I take, I take it back. <laughs> it's been a while. Don't judge me, please. Ugh. Norwegian is such a beautiful language though. I really wanna, I would really love to be actually any good at it. What are then hard to do? That's the thing as well, all right. In Norway, there is so many different, it's, is it a dialect? Is it considered a dialect? Because there is Bokmal and then there is the other one. Okay, the first one, this is a little Vanskalik. Uh, difficult, but bad for no, but good for some ikkans bracket that cannot speak 
right? I <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, I learned one sentence to excuse how bad my Norwegian is. Wait. Yeah, I can snack a little Norsk. Men ikke bra. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, I love that you type it in there. I don't understand a single thing. <laughs> I would love to understand, but I don't. I'm so sorry. Mm. I can identify like one or two words. Engels is English. And yeah, maybe I c this is a U and four, but oh no, I don't understand at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can literally say, hi, my name is, what is your name? And I can say, I speak Norwegian, but very much not good. And uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, I would love to know. Olivia, what brought you into the stream? I'm always very curious how people find the stream because it's underground. Ugh. There we go. Packing my bags for them secondhand monies. Okay, um, the bag is halfway filled and I think we're gonna fit everything in there, to be honest, it's pretty nifty. I was actually scared that not everything was gonna fit. You found me with a tag English. Ooh, what a good tag. I should use tags more often. I basically don't use tags. Sister and I are twins. My name is Olivia, my sister's name is Amelia. <gasps> First of all, super cute names. Super cute names. Second of all, being a twin is fucking cool. How is it being a twin? Because I always wanted a twin, but I only have like a sister. And this is a, uh, I never considered this very much cool. It's just. She's there. Sorry. <laughs> Female English, always. The two tags you will need in life and nothing else. I don't know, you know, like um, people who have a twin usually uh, consider it something uh, like a special connection. And I want to know if, if that is true, like, do you feel necessarily connected in a stronger way than like, for example, somebody who just has a normal sibling that is not a twin would be? And how is your relationship? Do you get along well? I don't know if it go down well if I put female. Ah, Nido, just do it. It's 2023. <laughs> you can you can identify as whatever you want. And nobody can tell you differently. It's your stream and you make the rules. Oh shit, I put the sweater that's matching these pants at the bottom. But I'm pretty sure when they sort it out, they will be like, oh, matching set, let's put them together. I used to be a twin. Oh, 
That's right, Teddy, I know that. Oh, I will never get angry at you for having not the best English, first of all, because English is also not my first language. And second of all, we should never, ever make fun of someone who is trying to learn a new skill. If that goes for a skill set or a language, it doesn't matter. You are trying your best and therefore you don't get to deserve, like you don't get to be criticized. What the hell? Also, your English is flawless. Everything you wrote is absolutely perfect. What? You just wanted to fit in Teddy. Dark. Did you mean that we can mentally understand each other's feelings? That is a good question. I would love to know if that is a point. <laughs> I don't necessarily, I didn't necessarily ask like something specific, but this is a good question. Can you? <gasps> That's so cool. I feel like, <laughs> do you guys have um, other siblings as well? Or is it just the two of you? I do have siblings, I have a sister. She is two years older than me and she lives in Switzerland. And um, um, let's say we need our distance to function. We're good together when we have enough space between the two of us. <laughs> Which I think is also fine. I think it's completely normal to sometimes, you know, with your siblings just... Two younger sisters. No way! You have another set of twins? How cool... Wait. But this is an actual thing, right? Like people that have twins in their family are more prone to have more twins, right? This is a thing. But isn't it also a thing that it's like, uh, <laughs> this is also related to gender? Like um, when you have, So let's say you have parents, the mom and the dad, and they get a set of twins. It has to run in the mom's family. Still very rare to have two sets of twins. Yeah, in general, it's very rare. Unless, unless it's IVF. But I don't want to get too up personal in somebody's business. But when you do IVF, they usually implant like two embryos and therefore it's more likely. But then those twin sets are not one egg. It's two eggs. What is it called? Identical twins? That is when it's like a shared. Olivia, I would love to explain it, but I don't even know whether or not I said it correctly. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling myself. No, um, I think that when you have multiple twins in your family, that's kind of like a, like a genetic preposition, predisposition, genetic predisposition. So you're more likely to have twins, but it's still rare. So look at you, you're really special. That's really cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, 
Okay, only three more items and we're done. Oh my god, no! I don't want to go to work. I didn't strip the poster yet. Oh, another day where it's molding outside. Shit. Can I ask where you're from? I'm from Germany. So our native languages are actually quite similar. Or at least like vocabulary wise, kind of similar, not identical, just, just a bit similar. Cool. Last two pieces. I see your country when I come to sing in your country. Wait, what? You're a singer? Olivia, we need more details. This is really interesting. You're a singer and you travel to sing in different countries? Who are we? You and your twin sister? <gasps> I need more information. I'm excited. I'm a small singer. Do you go to Berlin? And what kind of singing do you do? Oh, please say you're an opera singer. I'm so gonna come to your show. You go to Berlin? Oh my God, girl. <laughs> we had concerts with Coldplay in Berlin. Holy moly. And you're saying you're a small singer? No, 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 that's not small. Exactly, Nito, they're massive. What the hell? Olivia, don't play yourself small. What the fuck? Wait, Coldplay was here um, not too long ago. I, had, I heard people talking about it. A lot of people from my gym were going, was it like half a year ago? They were here. And you're coming again with what band? Searching YouTube concert Coldplay with color music choir. <gasps> Nido, you're on it. Put it in Discord. Put it in Discord so I can see it. I will watch it after stream. That is so amazing. Man, people are so cool. People are so cool. Look at you singing for freaking cold play. I am out of out of it. Like what and you're saying you're a small singer. Come on, Olivia. You need to give yourself a lot more credit. Okay. And because we are a bougie household, I'm going to spray my clothing with a good old aromatherapy from Peck Sniffs, Calming Cardamom and Clarifying Rosemary. Linen spray. <sighs> Beautiful. Was it in July 2022? So sweet. 
Nido, if you see that, if you find that video, please share. Oh my God, wait, do I need to fill out a form or anything? No, I don't think so. Oh, the reference is already on here. All right. This is a bag for recycling, but I don't think that I'm gonna recycle any of the things. If they're too shit for them, they, they're they gonna chuck it anyways, so. Fuck it. All right. Nice. That is a very, very good amount of clothing. Jesus Christ. Boop. All right. Ugh. This will need to go to the post office at some point in my life. And I also have another thing to send back. It's like an Amazon retool thing. <sighs> Wait, let me actually prep that one right now before I forget about it and then I'm not gonna do it. And then it's gonna lay here for another four days. I know myself. I know myself too well. Ah. I know many of them. I speak less than I know of them though. <laughs> oh. Funny Teddy, funny. I know three languages, Russian, Norwegian and English. Oh. Russian is so cool. I would love to know how to speak Russian. I think I had tried it once, but then I had a look at the Cyrillic alphabet and I was like, oh, no. I would say I only speak two languages. I used to be kind of, I wouldn't say fluent, but I could speak freely and write essays in French. But now my French is gone, like absolutely gone, non-existent. Cool, people, do we have time to strip the poster? I think so, let's just do it. Okay, first of all, this, just so I don't get any, anything dirty. Oh, we can actually use this as a thing to lay underneath so I don't make the mat grubby and oily. Boop. And this is particularly handy because this one even has a little glue side. Boop. Right, let me bring in the moldy ass poster. Ugh. Ew, it's all oily. No. It's so bum. Ugh. And I don't have my gloves anymore. What the hell? Okay, cutter knife. Where is. Ah, it's not here. Uh, all right, here. Yeah. Got it. Coolio. 
if you want, I can teach you if you're not upset with a teacher who is younger than you. I would never be upset with a teacher that is younger than me. I would only be fucking impressed. <laughs> but I think the main reason why I'm not learning a, another language is because I'm not able to put in the time and effort. It's not really the lack of a teacher. It's the lack of motivation, I guess. Also, I don't think it makes any sense for me to learn another language because I'm not going to use it. So this happened to me with French. I could speak it, but because I had no one to speak to, I had no reason to exercise. Like I had no reason to practice speaking it. And so I just forgot. So even if I would learn another language now, I would forget it as well because I would never practice it. Oh my God, wait a second. <gasps> Guys. Oh my God, I think I will be able to keep the foam underneath because the, the faux leather has like a, like a, I don't know, synthetic kind of inner side. So the oil didn't get through it. Oh, that would be so good. Then I don't need to buy styrofoam uh, foam material. Oh, please. I will need to think about how I will poster the chair in the first place because if I reposter that one, I might as well do the other one so they're matching. But I had another idea because my chairs are different kind of metals. So the two chairs that I have with the posters are like black-ish, anthracite. And the table is as well, but I have literally nothing that is a black metal. So either I keep it clean and um, spray painted white, or I'm gonna do a fancy thing and spray paint them in very vibrant colors. So it's kind of like Bauhaus style. I would love that, but I don't know if I just like the idea of it and then I will hate the reality. Oh wait, Olivia, so you were, you were born in Russia then and you migrated to Norway? Or how do you know Russian? I'm not a singer. I, I cannot sing. <laughs> I can sing in an ironic way. Guys, I think I think the poster was not affected. I will need to make like a paper test and test whether or not it's greasy, but I don't think it is. Okay, okay. We got 
we got not only stitches, but we got <sighs> some clamps in here. Oh shit, that's a lot. Oh, I might need to buy this tool. Oh no. Okay, um, I will definitely not get this done before work. <laughs> 100% not. Born in Norway, immigrated to Ukraine. This year, we want to immigrate to Canada. That is why I'm here. Oh, so you're learning English from Twitch stream. That's cute. Why do you want to leave Norway? Why do you want to go to Canada? didn't go through it's not looking good it is not looking good here nah, I should have not stored it outside what the hell Ow. no ouch uh, suck it up it doesn't hurt suck it up Okay, interesting. Oh my God, I don't know if this is, uh, I don't know if this is savable. It might be less work just redoing this piece completely by my own. <laughs> oh, you're immigrating because of your dad's work. Fair enough. Be careful. I am being careful. Um, I want to take off the poster of this chair because it's filthy and soaked with oil. Um, but because it was stored outside for a very long time, the wood that is in here has become moldy. And now I don't think that I'm gonna be able to undo the damage. So I feel like I will need to reshape this whole thing okay people i'm gonna end it here i won't be able to do this before work i will need to leave in five minutes so i will need to get ready real quick and leave to work but it was lovely having you here and it was lovely having this nice chat today. There were so many people who participated in chat. Very, very cute. So uh, I will probably see you the next time for a Death Stranding stream. And uh, I wish you a wonderful day. Have a very joyful rest of your day. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the birds that are chirping outside. Make yourself some coffee. Make yourself some good food. And I'll see you next time. Do I have to say anything more? No, I don't think so. Sid, welcome back. I'm sorry that I'm, we're gonna leave again. <laughs> if Nido posted a link from Olivia into the chat, go watch that and cherish how cool she is. Please don't leave, honey, I would love to say.
but I will actually have to work. <laughs> I will get in trouble if I stay. I don't think my boss is gonna be too pleased. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but vlogging vibes, um, I will have to walk to my PC to end the stream. <laughs> okay, thank you all for being here. I love you, I'll see you next time, bye. <laughs>